seeing what's inside the little adapter thing here to see if it really is Yep. Oh, that's even disappointing. You know, this actually has a uh, terminals for temperature, but what they've done inside this DeWalt adapter is they've just cheated and shorted out the uh, temperature connector. So that the tool, I mean, the whole point to those terminals is so if the battery, if you're really working it hard, 100 plus degree day and the battery's about to catch fire, that the tool will shut down. And using the setup is actually a bypass. I assume, you know, this battery does have built-in overload protection, so that's what they're relying on. The other thing, which there's a few videos on YouTube, and a couple of them are really pretty honest. One of them mentioned the same things I've complained about, you know, the insufficient lock and the uh, kind of the funkiness of this whole system, given its price and, you know, what they're hoping to achieve versus, you know, what the reality is. But the fact that since this, as we can see with the bypass, are relying entirely on internal protection of the battery, um, there was one video of somebody who was showing on a, like a Makita saw, running it until it overloads, and with a normal, you know, I guess power tool battery, you release the trigger, wait a second, and it self resets, and then you just go back to work again. Where this thing require once it over has a overload due to excessive output working it too hard once it shuts down you actually have to plug it into the charger to get the battery reset so if you're pushing a saw so I have just a little bit of a dull blade doing kind of a hard cut it shuts down it isn't like you wait a few couple seconds and then just go easier and finish your cut it's it shuts down and now you have to go find the charger plug it in plug in this battery wait a minute for it to reset and then go back and do your work it's just like ouch so I was just taking apart every last little piece out of this thing. Here's how that lock switch works. It's this. Oh. Has a couple of ramps, so when you press it in, it inter inter interacts with a couple of ramps there, and that's what retracts this. They have a bunch of space. They should have made that uh, a lot larger. Here we are looking at the cell pack, trying not to shock myself. We can see the proper balancing wires going around. Solder their terminals, except for hilariously, the blue wire was too short, so they couldn't solder it to its tab. They put it right on the little edge there. I was gonna say, these output wires, a little bit thin, and get some more zoom in there. You can see some strands, so it wasn't stripped the best.